Now, it's June 23rd, 2022. I just, the first story right off the bat is, at noon on Channel 7 is a Supreme Court decision uh, in New York State about carry law. And I'm like, and it's touching the story is touching something referred to as an SIG, a 516, and whatever it is. Again, I don't speak NRA naturally. I mean, kind of, sort of, in a not really way, only because everything's so articulated. But that would be like a NASA count. So that gets confusing. Um, so here's the audible. Then there's the visual. And then there's a story that l just happened in Queens Count when Lewis took me to get something to eat. Conservative majority. Ashley Arlene said a moment ago the vote was six to three. Justice Thomas writing that the Constitution guarantees an individual's right to carry a handgun in self-defense outside of the home. Of course, the impact will be far-reaching in New York and other states that required people to demonstrate a special need, a particular reason to carry a firearm. Now, on the television or the telly, I understand the seriousness of these, whatever, guns. I'm just a G under. What do I know? Um, and so it says, S oh, five one and then it says the uppers. U-P-P-E-R-S. S-U. S-U. Je ne sais pas non so. In this, I... I don't know what's going on in elsewhere territory or at the great beyond. All I know is it's really hard to breathe. My knees are swollen. I got stability like over the knee, like um, compression units at the moment um, from the local store just to walk um, without the mechanic being off. Um, and then I see this, which, oh my, that looks like that's somebody's relative in the RH positive category. For a 516 upper, uh, apparently on the 22nd, it says in Memorial, there was some GI bill signed. I have no idea what a GI Bill is for Mr. Levittown. I end out in Farmingville. I have no idea. I also saw that some Korean War was in with a 1950 is on Saturday. Again, more stuff that nobody explains. Here's what this sounds like. But see... SIG 516 and uppers. That's a Nassau count while I'm standing in Queens. Just so Suffolk is on board with what's going on on Fish Island. Go fish? Yeah. Seal carry license has been very difficult to get in New York, yet that has now been struck down. However, state and local registration and background checks can remain in place. Now, cash and carry, is that still Ireland? I'm just curious. I learned that during the Irish Day Parade. I being some form of mutt, according to the mutton. Or actually, Schwixer. Schwixer, according to the local J-U. Or I think he goes by J-E-W-I-S-H. 
don't want to say the word because then it gets like Harry Carey. But for the most part, that's what they called me. I don't know if that's a good thing, a bad thing, or if it's just independently indifferent because I have no feelings on it. It's like bland oatmeal at this point. Somewhere on, I haven't even gotten to the finish line. Not once in my life. Not to see a statue, not to bring Alexander, not to be able to do a relative search. Nothing. The court is not touching that aspect of it. What's more, the court has kept the door open for exceptions that would allow localities to restrict gun possession in certain unspecified sensitive places. Now, that's vague, but experts say it could, could include sports arenas, maybe the New York City subway. But it is a serious enough topic that they keep talking about it. So that's the good news. When the public's concerned, they seem to keep this storyline going about carry law uh, and what the locals have done with my life frame. I also saw um, some stuff go on about a kid that died in some hazing called Pike, P-I-K-E, or it's Pi something or other, Kappa Alpha. I mean, like, why does this keep happening? Um... So that's a problem. And I just got back from a, a lunch with Lewis where we are in what the locals call Japanese restaurant. Same place I went with Nicola Luzio or whatever his name was that I met at Starbucks. Um, but I went with my father. Now, on the, uh, right next to where the tables are, they have tapestries. Beauti like, looks like what they try to say are ancient tapestries. Like, ancient culture in the Asiatics or Pacific area. Um, so I'm staring at them and trying to study the colors and the symbols and... Like, get an idea based on what they've put up to get a real picture of the area, because Lou and I are out of topics to talk about, um, although we try. And so I asked the woman, I was like, can I ask? I said, are these, what are, are these Japanese? So I said, are these Korean? What exactly is this, these things? She says, they're Japanese. I was like, oh, okay. She says, well, at first she says, I'm Korean. I'm like, okay. And she says, and these are Japanese. I'm like, oh, wow, okay, thanks. So she walks away, and I just not being satisfied with that answer, I start to study from the table the symbols that are on this tapestry that she says is Japanese. And so then she comes back over and I'm like, I am just so interested in these two symbols on this one tapestry. Could you tell me what it means? And she says, oh no, she says, that's Chinese. I'm like, wait a minute. So the tapestry is Japanese, but the symbols are Chinese? She's like, mm hmm? She just walked away. I'm like, that is so bizarre. But again, this is just like, it seems to be what goes on around here with this. I don't know. Trying to figure, it's like, it is like living in some kind of outdoor mental facility or pit, like, I don't know. It's, it is, nobody, it's like this constant whatever that goes on it like plays out um i also saw that somebody sent me which i can't read but they sent it to me anyway uh two books one being the overstory and two being something else let me go look to see if i can find it okay so now i forget i think it was for I think it was for Christmas. Um, somebody sent the overstory. 
But again, as much as I want to read it, I read the synopsis of it. It is so daunting to try to get through the linguistics and the digestion of such a great masterpiece. Um, and not being facetious, just being in no really at this point. It's been lowered to a point where it is hard to... I mean, the light board, I can read like that in messaging. But on the the actual linen page, it is so difficult to try to read and translate this much in words. Like this, at the moment, it's not talk is cheap, because these are words of utmost importance, I'm assuming, since they took the time to send it to me. I just don't know how long it would take and how the world shifts as I make an attempt. Um, and it's called Never Let Me Go. Um, it's star. Oh, and I'm in this Union Jack at the moment. They call it a flag here. They don't call it a union. They call it a flag. It's star 1978, star 8378, Nicole Kedaruza, it's Earth, Solar System, Milky Way, Universe, Galaxy is Broken, and it's Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, 11361. 